Okay. Show me. Hi there guys, welcome back to the Dutch Sushi channel, thank you very much for tuning in for an, uh, a second video, an update about this Toolkit RC WM150 watt meter, a power meter from Toolkit RC. And in my first video I complained, uh, did I complain? Yeah, I guess I <laughs> complained about it not showing a peak amperage and a peak wattage, voltage, whatever. See. If you run up a motor, which I will do here, you can see an amperage. I, ho I hope you'll be <laughs> able to still hear me. You can see an amperage over here and a wattage. And once I run down the motor again, there, motor is stopped. You can't see what the peak amperage actually was, so you have to constantly keep an eye on this watt meter to see the actual amp draw. Now that's definitely a shortcoming of this watt meter as it is. However, in my first video I said, well, this is all software you see here, right? Uh, what you see on the screen. It would be very nice if they upgrade the firmware in this watt meter so that it will show peak values. Guess what? I guess they listened uh, to that uh, video, uh, watched that video, and guess what? They released a new firmware today, and uh, that should uh, remedy this this problem, this shortcoming of the the power meter from Toolkit RC. So in this video, I'm gonna first show you how to upgrade firmware on this on this Toolkit RC watt meter. It it will also go for other Toolkit RC products, their servo tester, their chargers and such. The, the firmware upgrade is always the same on these Toolkit RC products. It'll, it's, it's very simple, but I'll show you in a second and after that we'll see if it uh, actually solves anything. So let's first see how you actually upgrade the firmware. This watt meter as other Toolkit RC products all come with a USB cable. So you hook up this watt meter to your computer, USB ports over here, and let's see what happens then. Alright guys, you know what, the first thing we'll do is actually download that new firmware. And you can uh, see it here, it, uh, as you can see it's uh, released today, the 18th, which is, okay there, the 18th, which is actually today, well at the time I'm shooting this video it's, <laughs> it's today. And uh, it's the version 1.13. And uh, we simply click that uh, zip, zip icon over here. I've already downloaded it, so I won't, but uh, I'll, I'll have a link to this site, to this uh, web page in the description of this video, so you can easily find it. Maybe by the time you are watching this video, there's uh, an even newer firmware. Always take the latest firmware. At this point, again, version 1.13, click the zip and it'll be downloaded to your computer. So that's the first step you take, and that zip file, I've got the zip file over here. It contains the actual firmware, a batch file, uh, instructions, and some information about the actual uh, improvements, changes to the firmware. Okay, the, basically the only thing you really need is this, this firmware file, the app.upg. So next thing we'll do is uh, hook up the, the watt meter or if you are upgrading the firmware on another toolkit device, your charger or your servo tester, you hook it up to your computer's USB port. So let's do that right now. This is uh, what it looks like. As mentioned in my first video, all these toolkit RC products open themselves up like a USB drive once you hook it up to your computer. So that's what you see here, a Toolkit RC USB drive. And there is uh, already a firmware on it, the app.upg, that's basically the, the current firmware. What you do is you actually delete that. There, yes, delete. So uh, that's the old firmware. And here is the content of that zip file we just downloaded. And now I'm gonna simply drag the new firmware. So this is the firmware from the 1.13 firmware onto that USB drive. 
hard shiki day and guess what that's all there's to it that's the entire upgrade process is that simple or isn't that simple so um yeah you can now simply uh dis dismount your watt meter gone and that's it let's uh, have a look what uh, what actually changed so we were zoomed in right into the screen and as you can hopefully see we've got some text over here now do keep in mind that they had to quickly uh, change the firmware so they will probably do something graphical with that these numbers as well but again uh, we complained and they delivered let's uh, spool it up uh, once more to see what you actually get Today. That was an engine run and uh, the watt meter now says uh, the max was 1.4 amps and 20 watts. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what we wanted, so uh, <laughs> it's hard to complain now, right? Great turnaround time as well. So I have to applaud them for, uh, for this uh, and again uh, maybe they can uh, enlarge the font a little or maybe add the max amps in that graph, whatever. I'm glad they did this, this firmware upgrade and th at this, this rate. Uh, only a couple of days uh, since my last video and they already, well, solved the, the issue. Excellent work! And especially because in a lot of products we see come from China uh, once they have been uh, produced or released and uh, that nothing really changes even though uh, the, the entire universe complains about a feature nothing happened. In this case 2 C stepped right up and uh, changed the firmware very quickly. So that's just great to see and uh, what more can I tell you? Well. Um, if you are not familiar with this watt meter at all, I'll have a link to my previous video up here. Go and watch that so you can see what it actually does. For now, I hope this was informative. Catch you on the next video. Bye bye.